All right, what is going on, my dudes? We are back here today with some rank four SIG 200 Tigra gameplay. So I took my Tigra up to rank four SIG 200, finally committed to this girl like a month or so ago. I brought her to Alliance War a lot, been using her in Battlegrounds a lot, and I have a lot of footage for you guys today in those exact scenarios. I was going to make this video a little bit sooner, but I said, let me wait till the end of the Alliance War season so I can gather a bunch of different fights from across the entire season, uh, just for some solid rank for Tiger goodness, man. So up first, we're on path one in Alliance War here against a rank four thing, OK? And this is path one where, like, if you're too close, he gains a regen buff or something like that. I don't even know the exact nodes. I'm putting on an advanced power start one boost, so I got to go in fast. Didn't have time to read the nodes. I don't take path one too often, right? But the strat here against Thing is we're essentially going to push him back to the corner. Now, Tiger is a very solid Thing counter for a lot of reasons. One reason is very easy to counter his special one if you know the spacing. On top of that, there's a neutralize, the takeaway is unstoppable, the unblockable, all that fun stuff. Now, in Alliance War, I have to hold back the urge of holding the heavy attack after the special two, even though it is relatively safe. We got the light attack to inch a little bit closer, right, when we're countering that special one, and we're going to pretty much finish it off here with the second special two. So a very nice and super duper solid first fight here against Thing on Path 1 and Alliance for Rank 4 Thing, man. So very, very solid. Up next, we have an Omega Sentinel. So this Omega Sentinel has masochism over time. So with Tiger, of course, she has her debuffs and all that fun stuff, but masochism over time puts a regen buff on the opponent, right? So we're going to go ahead and kind of bypass that with a neutralize. So first things first, going to bait out a heavy attack here, counter with our heavy attack. We're very close to a special two already. We're going to go right in for just a combo, bait out another heavy attack if we can, but we got the intercepts instead, going to go right right for the special two because guess what that is pretty much going to be more than enough to finish off this fight we're going to finish it with a special one now really solid first two fights we still got that power start one boost going so we really want to just like pick up the pace a little bit so we can get all three fights in up next we have a pretty tough fight here we have an ebony maw rank four ebony maw we're going to heal up just a little bit Okay, and this has Strike Counter Fury, Spaced Armor, and Masochism over time, of course, with the Unsteady Ground Defense Tactic. Now, this fight here, this exact defender on this node combo, steals a lot of deaths in Alliance War. So, going in here with Tiger, it's got to be a very precise fight because we have to play into the Strike Counter. So, I went for my heavy attack, my first heavy attack, going for like a medium light medium, pushing him back into the corner, baiting out the special one, gonna counter his special one with my special one, and now I'm gonna counter his heavy attack with my heavy attack again. Again, strike counter is building up that's okay we're going for my special two and that is going to be all she wrote an absolutely lovely fight right there against a very very tough and punishing fight so definitely really like that one quite a bit and up next, we have Gallon. Now, Tiger just makes Gallon an absolute joke. This is Rich Get Richer, Opportunist, Mystic Ward, all of these nodes that Tiger just does not care about, because as long as you start out very strong here and get the first hit, right, you get the neutralize up, then hey, man, you're pretty much good to go. You know, Gallon's not really going to be gaining any buffs here. Now, his special one is really fun to counter with Tiger. You can dash in with the heavy attack, right? Going to go ahead and chain that heavy attack in the corner here. Going to go for the special two, and guess what? That's going to be all that she wrote. And up next is another very fun tiger fight. We have Cersei on Rich Get Richer as well. This is the bigger one here, the mini boss in the top right of the map. And uh, yeah, rank four Cersei, love Cersei, Rich Get Richer, feats of power, all this other stuff. The main thing against Cersei here is you got to get a good start. You don't want her throwing that heavy attack to get that glancing up or else it's going to make this fight very, very annoying. So the strat here is I want to get her into the corner and bait out that special one. Okay. Here we go in the corner. Give me that special one. Dash in with the medium. Counter with the heavy attack. We're already up to a special two. We're going to let it rip. That's it. That is it, man. That is just it. That's just all she wrote. That's all it is. Boom, boom, boom. All right. Up next, this here. Okay, this is a little bit out of order. This is a little bit out of order, these fights. You know, I'll kind of put them into this uh, into this album here. But anyway, Hazard Shift, Incinerate, Poison, Schadenfreude, and Power Efficiency against a rank four Super Scroll. Now, 
Tiger benefits from the attack tactic where she can go debuff immune after eight hits, right? So what I'm going to be doing here is building that up six hits, okay? We're now debuff immune, countering his heavy attack, and now he's dead, okay? Because we're throwing the special two. He's dead. Watch this, okay? Spoiler alert. He's dead. Yeah. He's dead. So, um, that's nutty, man. She is so nutty for Super Scroll. The attack tactic, the way it works if you don't know, is you build up these like cleanse charges that aren't cleanses, and if you happen to get a debuff, they all go away. But if you build up the six, you're going to go debuff immune for however many seconds. So the strat here was to take hits until we build up that full debuff immunity, and now we're just gonna let the special two rip. And we got the incinerate here, it doesn't really matter because he's dead from the special two. One special two is all it took. I didn't want to eat too much damage from the from the, the hazard shift node, so I built it up first. But man, she absolutely shredded there. So up next we have a vision arcus, 300,000 health against a rank four vision arcus. Argus here, man. We're going to be throwing on a power start one boost here as well. Okay. Um, now this, the nodes here are, are pretty interesting. There's, there's power efficiency as well, but there's also a node where I forget the exact name of the node, but basically if they, if, if a buff expires on them, you get a counter on you. And when that timer is going down, you have to do a heavy attack or a special attack, or else you're going to get a falter on you. If you do one of those motions, you're going to put the falter on them. On top of that, they also get a vigilance buff every Every time you pass a bar of power, okay? So they get a falter on them, but they could still hit you if, you know, you, you don't control that. So anyway, the strat here against this Vision Arcus, we're going to use the attack tactic here to keep the armor breaks and the cold snaps off of us and kill him with a big special too. Let's see how it works out here. So we're going to go ahead and take some hits, right, to build up that attack tactic. We're only going to be taking debuffs if he uses a special attack or if he gets too close to us for too long. Here we're going to counter his heavy attack. We're up at a special two. Going to wait a second for that timer to come put the falter onto him and throw the big special two all right there we go bait out the special one hold strong with the block okay counter with the heavy attack we're gonna hold our block again we have half time on our senses gonna go in with a medium attack there not gonna counter his heavy attack with our heavy attack while he's above a bar of power and yeah, man, I mean, just very, very, very efficient stuff here from Tigra. Very efficient stuff here. We're holding that block. We're staying strong. We're baiting out that attack there. Going in, dashing back to get the unblockable and just completely nuking him, dude. Just absolutely lovely stuff. So up next, we have an Omega Sentinel in the Power Burn meta for Battlegrounds here, dude. So very important, very important to not let her get that uh, armor armor up right in the beginning so i dashed back so i can get a clean parry that way i can start hitting her right away that way she won't be gaining those armor up buffs so i'm going to counter her heavy attack with our heavy attack here very very nice we're going to parry and we're going to dash back into the special two and that is pretty much going to be all she wrote in a battlegrounds health pool dude tiger is just absolutely nutty for battlegrounds health pools as i'm sure all of you guys know man so here is a dragon man actually now now, Tiger, Rintra, all those neutralized champions are very, very fun for Dragon Man because you can see I'm slowing down my combo a little bit here because I'm trying to time it with that power charge buff coming back because once it's gone, it's just literally gone. So I'm going to counter his heavy attack here with my heavy attack. I'm up to my special two. We're good to go to counter when it comes to his power here. I'm not too concerned about pushing to a special three. Okay, not concerned about mission dispersion. Going to bait out the special two, block the first part, dex back, and counter with my heavy attack. Okay. Okay, and now we're pretty much good to go. We're right under two bars of power. Gonna bait out a heavy attack and go for our heavy attack here. We whiffed the first hit, but we're gonna finish off with a nice special two. And that dragon dude is just flushed right down the toilet right there, man. He's just gone down the drain. Goodbye, buddy. All right, up next we have an Omega Sentinel here, another rank four one on Rich Get Richer on path eight. So again, very important here to control those armor up buffs right away. So I like to dash back so I can get that clean parry, right? It's just my, my favorite way to fight Omega Sentinel with Tiger. Now, I'm going to bait out a heavy attack here. If I can, going to counter with my heavy attack. We're going to go right into our special two here, and that's going to do a very solid amount of damage, and we're getting a lot of power back as well. And oh my god, we're already back at a special two, and we're going to finish with another unblockable special two, dude. Oh my goodness gracious. Oh my goodness gracious. 
And then up next, we have a Hulkling, a node 23. This is the Root Node, Scared Stiff, Power Focus 2, and Bubble Shield, okay? Now, com comparatively speaking to the other fights in this video, this one does not start out too amazingly, all right? But the key message here is to keep going with the plan. Don't panic and just get your focus straight and just, just get back in the fight. So as you can see, he has three Pierce buffs on. We're down to 80% health. That's a lot of block damage that we took because we missed that parry initially. I know how to counter his special one with our heavy attack, but I just needed a second to regroup and back up and say, all right, man, let's push this guy back into the corner, go for our special two, do some damage, and we're going to knock him down and reset, okay? We're reset here okay he threw his special two cool we can counter that with our heavy attack very very nice we're gonna play it cool okay we're gonna grab a, a, a heavy attack counter here on his heavy attack we're very close to that special two we're just gonna parry hit him into the corner and go for the special two so there we freaking go man we did not have the best start to that fight but we stuck with it we said all right we got it. We, we took the hit on the block there. That's not how we wanted to start this fight, but that's all right. We're going to keep it going. We're going to stay with the plan and it happened to work out. All right. So up next, we actually have the Absorbing Man boss in the Throne Breaker EQ. OK, so the, obviously this guy's been giving people a lot of troubles, but Tiger is actually very good for him. So he has physical resist in his black Uru form. So I'm trying to push him up to that special two to activate the magma form. Also, it's very easy to counter his special two with Tiger there. Right. So now we're going to remove his form go for the special two he doesn't have his uru form doesn't have his macro form he's got nothing here we're going to hold that heavy attack hard to bait out his heavy attack so we can counter stack on even more ruptures and as you can see we are very close to that special two one more heavy attack there we go we got normal carl here no form no nothing gonna go for that big special two he's gonna throw his special two and we're gonna counter once again the same exact way remove that form and he is flushed right Right down the toilet, dude. Oh my god. Oh my goodness gracious. Tigra, very, very solid for the Absorbing Man. She's actually who I used more often than not when I was doing this uh, Thronebreaker EQ. So yeah, this guy could certainly be very punishing, could certainly be uh, very annoying to fight, uh, a little tough to fight, but Tigra, as she does with a lot of champions, man, as she does with a lot of fights in this game, she made it an absolute joke. So, one more fight here against Gore. Now, Gore is a little interesting, man. He puts those debuffs on you when he hits you on the block or anything. This is the same node that that, uh, that Arcus was on, okay? Now, I'm not as comfortable fighting Gore with Tiger as I am with, uh, you know, all the other champions, or just fighting Gore in general because he is newer, but I'm going to go ahead and just counter his heavy attack repeatedly here and just, you know, rely on just... Uh, letting those senses just not run out as we can see here right it's like okay we have over a half time on our senses left we're going to be pretty good to get to a special two and i'm kind of confident that the special two is going to finish this off so here we're going to go ahead and use the special two and as you can see the special two does a lot a lot a lot of damage and that's just it that's just it man so yeah uh definitely it could be a little bit cleaner on the gore fight no doubt about that that's more or less just like an, uh, uh, a slightly uncomfortable fighting gore thing as opposed to Tigra isn't the best for gore thing because she's she's definitely very good for gore, especially if he plays into you and the attack tactic there definitely helps keeping those T-Buffs off. But hey, man, the point of this video, as everybody knows, this is not new information. Rank 4 Tigra is absolutely busted, dude. The only thing that's ever been holding me back from ranking up Tigra uh, and really putting in the time to get good with Tigra in the past was just like, you know, she was sig 40 for the longest time. And, you know, does Tigra need to be duped? No, but it's like playing an, playing a low sig tiger is really it's just not it it's not it man your senses last like three seconds in the beginning you have to play ultra hyper aggressively or you have to go for special ones before the special two it's not fun for me man so for me the tiger it's high sig or bust and i'm uh, more than happy to invest in her dude uh now that the sig stone floodgates have opened have opened and i'm very very happy to have her at rank four sig 200 been using her in war quite a bit as you've seen been using her in battlegrounds quite a bit whenever she's not banned unfortunately man tiger is like top ban bait and she gets banned all the time when i play battlegrounds but regardless man super duper happy to have this lady up at rank four sig 200 finally it feels like uh something that should have happened a very long time ago very very overdue rank up this was um because she's been very useful for my battle group and alliance war and just for myself in general so that is gonna be it for this little quick video on tigra from this past season and just 
all that the fun fights, all that fun stuff. I do hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop your voice a big old like. Let me know what you think about this giant tiger in the comment section below. And make sure you hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any future tiger videos coming to you in the future. And I will be seeing you around, man.